day wherever you are in the world. In today's video, I'll be trying out this three day leg fat burn challenge. I recently came across this video on YouTube and I instantly became really, really interested in this challenge. And this challenge is by Robert's Gym Channel. I'm really sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, but yeah, this is the channel. Yeah, this is a challenge I'll be trying out for the next three days and I'm very excited. I kind of skimmed through the video and there were some exercises that I really liked. I tried some of these exercises in my previous challenges and I feel like these exercises are very effective for the legs. And also because I haven't done a leg specific workout for longer than 10 minutes normally this workout's like less than 10 minutes long but this workout is 25 minutes long and it's only for three days we love short challenges so yeah give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and we should get started mm. so let's start off by taking some measurements so I decided to measure the upper thigh just above the knee and the calves. This is the before. Okay, let's do the workout now. The first exercise was leg kicks, which I really enjoy doing. I think it's quite effective for the legs. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, in five, four, Three, one, oh. two, three, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Break time. That's a thirty seconds break, so that's good. I'm feeling it like this part here. Okay, turns out I need my mat because I have to like go on my knees to do the next workout. This is called fire hydrant, which was new to me, but I felt it would be great for the glutes and the hip dips. That was intense. I don't think I've done that workout before. Oh, that exercise worked on the glutes. In total, there are eight different exercises with several breaks after each or two exercises. The exercises repeat after 12 and a half minutes, so essentially you're doing two sets of each workout which I think is great because normally I would do a 7 to 10 minute workout challenge for 7 days but with this workout I'm doing a 6 days of workout in 3 days I don't like jumping jacks I'm almost 15 minutes into the workout and I'm getting really tired now it's getting to me now kind of intense now you guys I just finished the workout and this workout had like a countdown for calories and so like as you're doing all the exercises it was going like up and at the end it was 141 when you finish the workout you burn 141 calories but obviously that would kind of vary with each person that does the workout because you know we all have different body types we all burn calories at different levels so I'm guessing I probably burnt around 100 calories which is okay not bad and I'm tired now it felt really good. The workout kind of repeated all the exercises after like halfway through. I'm done for day one and we shall do this again tomorrow. Day two. Day two. I was not feeling sore or tired. Maybe because I have been actively working out. Like I only took a two days break before starting this new challenge. I used to take a week or two weeks break before starting a new challenge. And that time I would get very tired and sore quickly. Or remain sore for some days. But on day two, I felt fine. So I think I'm doing good. I get very tired doing thigh lifts. But it's one of those workouts that actually burns. Oh, oh my legs my legs my 25 minute workouts are long like halfway through i'm just like oh can it just end now we're almost done that. with this workout i kept wondering why i wasn't feeling a burn and i watched the video carefully to realize that i am supposed to move my legs all the way down like so where the thighs are actually moving for it to be effective <laughs> the amount of times i get these workouts wrong I'm sweating you guys, but we're done with today's workout. Whew. We've got one more day left. Yes. And then it's time for some results. It's final day today. Last day of this challenge. It was already day three and I was excited to wrap this up. 23, 24. The joy of being on the last day of a challenge is something else you guys. <laughs> Finish. 
finished. We're done with the workout. Let's take a look at the measurements. I lost one centimeter from the upper thigh. Zero point four centimeters from above the knee. And there was no change in the calves. Lastly, there was no noticeable difference in the before and after pictures. So this challenge is done and these results were quite unexpected. But we have to remember that results vary from person to person. We might see some changes in some areas and we might not in other areas. For example, there was a slight change in my thighs, but there was no change in my calves. And that may be because I work up my thighs a lot more. So those muscles in the thigh area are more active and they're doing the work. Whereas my calves, I don't work out my calves as much. So maybe that area needs a little push um, in order for it to start doing the work. But anyway, Anyways, I'm still happy with whatever the results were. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick challenge. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!